Hi, this is Shubham from Monist View and today in this podcast we are going to talk about money laundering. What is the meaning of a money laundering? How the money laundering process actually structured? And here we are going to discuss about some famous past example in India regarding money laundering. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article, then the link of article provided in a description. So let's discuss. We have all heard the phrase money is the root of all evil. Well, as far as history suggests the original phrase goes in the bible like for the love of a money is a root of all kinds of evils money inherently isn't an evil it is a human aspect of an unhealthy love towards money that gives problems well unfortunately this unhealthy obsession has survived the trials of a time and some people have taken it too far by finding loopholes in the monetary as well as the legal system to feed their greed here is the main question what is a money laundering money Money laundering is a criminal activity through which illegitimate money is turned into a legitimate source of income. The money is passed on through a multiple complex transaction to make it look like an originated from a clean source. The principal reason for this are the existence of a corruption in the system. These actions have an adverse effect on the economy of a different nation. Every year trillions of dollars are operated through money laundering. So there are laws to control this. They are not that much of effective. So let's discuss how does a money laundering actually work. In simple sense, money laundering is just a process of converting illegal money into a legal and this process is quite complex and goes through various phases where the money is transferred to an authenticated institution when the conversion starts. To understand it clearly, read further about how money laundering works which is formally divided into following process. The first one is a initial placement. In this stage, illegal money is transferred for the first time. it is transferred to some legitimate institution as this money enter the bank in a such a manner default cannot be predicted usually a large amount of money are admitted into a financial system in a small batches to ignore any suspicious activity the second process is a layering this stage where traces of a criminal activity is removed with the help of a complex financial transaction here money is also transferred to countries with a strict secret laws to erase the origin of a fund this is done through a shell companies maximum times the third stage is a final integration here the money can be used legally now it has become a legitimate in the eyes of others without hiding its origin and at last this money enters into a banks again although there is a long list of way through which this could be done here are just few ones banking on top let's understand action to control this money laundering a large chunk of people involved in money laundering do it through a fake export they also do it through expensive antiques and paintings even through a stock markets to curb this practice a lot of major taken such as first an unorganized and underdeveloped economy need to be controlled to keep a check on money laundering second the government should design policies so that the tax evasion become impossible for such kind of companies the third all the money transaction from a production to consumption need to be monitored to prevent any kind of a illegal activity the fourth one is a bank should enhance their due diligence and know their customer process before dealing with their customer to put a stop on a money laundering practices there are authorities on national as well as international level to keep a check on this issue let's understand authorities in charge of a money laundering investigation money laundering is not a specific any country but a global issue the g7 formed the financial action task force fatf on money laundering to produce more effective financial regulation and anti laundering laws because money laundering is a critical component of a terror organization that are typically supposed through an illicit activity the fatf has been tasked with prevailing unlawful financial flows to terrorist and terrorist organization in india the director of enforcement in the department of revenue ministry of finance is responsible for investing offenses of a money laundering over here let's discuss some 
past famous cases of a money laundering in India. Here we gonna briefly talk about some incidences where money laundering in India has caught. The first one and most famous is a Commonwealth Games scam. This is also famous because of a political view. This scam happened in 2010. The amount of money involved in this scam is rupees 70,000 crore. It was being said only half of a amount collected from Commonwealth Games is spent on the event and the sports person. There were delay in payment to actual workers while suspicious payment were made to a non-existent party and equipment prices and other expenses were over inflated and there was a misappropriate use of funds. Sheila Dixit then the chief minister of Delhi and Suresh Kalmadi were involved in this scam. The second famous scam is an Indian coal allocation scam. This scam happened in 2012. The amount involved in this scam is 1,85,591 crores. It is one of CBI's most longing cases. The government chose to allot a coal block to a private firm that were not part of a Coal India Limited and Singhania Coliniers Company Limited production plants in nearly 1990s. But they were just allotted and not option lending to the loss of a rupees 1,85,591 crores as reported by the CAG that is Controller and Auditor General of India. The Supreme Court of India has cancelled the allocation of all the 214 coal blocks given since 1993. Now these blocks need to be relocated. The third most famous scam is a group financial scandal. This scandal happened in 2013. This occurred when the Ponzi scheme by Sharda Group consortium of 200 private companies collapsed. The money collected from various small investors. This scheme became a popular due to a promise of a higher return in just few years. It raised around Rs. 2,500 crore. The total number of investors who invested in this scheme is around 1.7 million. In January, it was found that the company inflows were lower than its outflow. The Supreme Court of India transferred all investigation related to this case and other Ponzi scheme to Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI). There are not just few examples. Lot of examples of such money laundering cases in past in India. So let's discuss what is the bottom line over here. Greed can be a strong driving force for destruction while money laundering hurting the economy and its important sectors by creating lopsided demand for money as well as destruction of a private sector by cutthroat competition or sterilization of the thriving companies to act as a front of a money laundering. On micro scale level, the general public suffer too as a damage to economy on the large scale also hurts its residents' stagnation of money in fewer hands, causing a greater income disparities between the rich and poor. Strong legal system with the proper consequences to those who choose such bad path need to be implemented. If you want to read the full article about this, then the link of article provided is in a description. Here, Shubham from Moonies to signing off. Thank you.